Thanks, Jake. In his speech this morning, the president called the Nord Stream pipeline attacks, uh, quote, a deliberate act of sabotage. And he said, now the Russians are pumping out misinformation <coughs> and lies about it. Should we take that to mean that the U.S. now believes that Russia was likely responsible for this act of sabotage? Well, first, Russia has done what it frequently does when it is responsible for something, which is make accusations that it was really someone else who did it. We've seen this repeatedly over time. But the President was also clear today that there is more work to do on the investigation before the United States government is prepared to make an attribution in this case. One of the practical reasons for that is that because gas is emanating from these pipelines, the Danish authorities and other authorities in the Baltic Sea can't actually get down to the source of the leak to do forensics on what appears to be an explosion. So we will have to wait until a combination of physical inspection intelligence gathering and consultation with our allies to make a definitive determination. But what we can say unequivocally is the suggestions Russia has made about the United States and other countries are flat out false. Russia knows they're false, but of course this is part of their playbook. But how many countries or entities are even capable of carrying out the kind of attack that we saw with hundreds of kilograms of explosives 250 feet below the surface of the sea? Not many. And I think this is obviously uh, an, an act of sabotage that took place, we believe, in the neighborhood of 70 to 80 meters, 230 to 270 feet under the ocean. Um, you know, that takes some degree of sophistication. But I don't want to get ahead of myself in terms of asserting how exactly this happened or who exactly did it until we're standing on solid ground. We will continue to work with our allies and partners to gather all of the facts, and then we will make a determination about where we go from there.